All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Endless Legend, or welcome to it if you're joining me for the very first time. So, today we're going to be taking a look at the Inferno DLC. I actually thought they were done with this game, seeing as Endless Endless Space 2 is out, and they've been mostly focused on that. But I guess I'm wrong. Anyway, so obviously, let's start with uh, what faction I'm going to be. Uh, where are they? Not the Bizarre. Kapaku? Kapaku. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the Kapaku. So, survivors of the decimation of their own world, the Kapaku have slumbered for centuries as they cross the stars, emerging onto Origa's horrifyingly vibrant and green lands. They have a single aim to recreate their old world of ash and lava. So, Settler, Stone Sentinel, Geomancer, and Golem Rider. Alright, so what do they have? Main quest, got that. Golem Camp. Units can be garrisoned to the camp. Extra bonus population on city. Only one per city. Stone Sentinel Topography. Extra science. City upkeep. That's fine. Alchemist Furnace. That's fine. Okay, so they get science on runes. Can I... Can I make a custom Kapaku? Let... Let's see if that's actually possible. Okay, because what do they have? Golem camp. Because some of these might not be so helpful. Industrial stockpile gen industry stockpile generated by dealing siege damage to enemy city for uh, fortifications. That's kind of helpful, but like, eh. Hmm. Okay, maybe I don't want to make a custom version, because if I take that off, it's... Uh, the custom factor factions are nice, but it looks like I'm actually going to mess myself up if I do this. Alright, so we're just sticking with Kapaku for this one. So this is the new, the new faction, we'll take a look at it. And if we're going to be, uh, if we're going to be burning the world, let's be red or orange? I think orange may be better. Uh, let's see, do we want to do large or huge? I like huge. World difficulty. I never really remember any of these. I usually kind of do custom. I like a lot of resources. Close, ideal fids placement. Chaotic, random, spread. Let's do spread. I tend to like just cranking up the resources so I can mess with them. I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> Uh, but it's been so long since we last played. We might as well just go nuts with it for a little while. Okay. Oh, we gotta check this again. Oh, can only see, gather, use food on volcanic terrains. Armies have health regen on volcanic terrains. Kabako units and heroes gain bonus stats on volcanic terrains. Ooh, that's tough. And there's eclipses. Right, we kind of... No, I don't remember. Were they eclipses or was it something else? No, it was nighttime for these guys. So there's a new uh, uh, there's a new weather mechanic. I guess we'll have to find out. Alright. So this is huge. I thought there were supposed to be more competitors than this. Oh. Well, that's why. Crank that up. Difficulty normal. And let's put it on fast. I like the slower runs. But, unfortunately, the way... Um, the way Endless Space and Endless Legend work is, like, if you make it too uh, slow, I'm going to be doing the series for ages, and I kind of want to just be able to... Well, I'm not one of those uh, super strategy YouTubers. It'd be kind of cool, but, uh, no, my life, my life is kind of fast-paced, and there's so many games to get through. So we're just going to have some fun with this one. I never know how long these loading screens are going to take. I want to... I want to talk during them, but uh, there's, like, nothing necessarily to say, and so we're just waiting for the cutscene to go by. Should play Endless Legend again. You should, it's great. Our world was a paradise of ash and fire. Until the gods brought their doom upon us. Even with our golems, our ingenuity, we were no match for their power. Broken and scattered, we would have perished if not for our saviors. They 
It brought us to this world. Gave us a new purpose. I think the voice there was a little bit low compared to the music. Unfortunately, because um, uh, because I, I had the sound effects down and the voice acting is tied to music for that cutscene and that cutscene alone. Anyway, so adds transformative dust eclipse phenomena. A brand new volcanic terrain and the interstellar visitors Kapaku, major faction, who can only gather food from volcanic terrain. Not all who strive for survival on Origa hail from this world. The Kapaku. Tinkers and inventors lived a blissful life on their own world of ash and fire until the arrival of mysterious machines brought them to the brink of extinction. Evacuated by the Endless, the Kabaku come to Origa equipped with machines to transform it into another paradise of basalt lava. Upon discovering the world inhabited though, and racked by great seasons of intense dust activity, the Kabaku will need to fight to realize their dream. Okay, so the Kabaku can only get their food from volcanic terrain yet. They can also rely on their volca volcano former machines to change any terrain into a volcanic one. Survivors of the decimation of their own world, the Kabaku have slumbered for centuries as they cross the stars. Emerging into Orga's horrifyingly vibrant and green lands, they have a single aim to recreate their old world of ash and lava. We're going to be reading that a lot, aren't we? Okay, so we've already done Tempest, Echoes of Orga, Lost Tales, Shifters. These I've done. These we know about. Anyway, so now that we've done that, Let's take a look at what we're up to. Uh, let's see, so we've got our settler. Well, first, let's turn this on. So being on a river is a good idea. Food's nice. Industry, industry and food. There's a couple of nice things. It might be best to put myself either here or maybe right here. Because if we can immediately exploit these resources, it'll probably make my life easier. How far can you move? Yeah, right here is probably good, because then we can expand this way. Looks like we're on the coast, too, so that should be kind of interesting. This is a fairly big territory to work with. Okay, so... Pop this down. I guess I should have separated the settler out, but whatever, we'll do that. We'll deal with that later. Alright, uh, let's see. Founder's Memorial. We can actually immediately start on Glass Steel. Work on those. Uh, food or industry? Let's do. We get another person in a turn anyway, so let's work on industry. The sooner we get those structures done, the better. Okay. We've got a rune down. Oh, wait, no, that's that's a rune right there. Okay. You'll have to raise your empire to a new industrialization level. Okay, so that'll take some time. I guess let's start exploring. We're going to need to... This is going to take just a while in general. Okay. Oh, right, research. Uh... Probably best to work on the mill foundry first. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need the industry and we're gonna need the food. And then we'll work on I think we already have this, don't we? Yeah, we do. I'm never sure if I like the the starting resources. Or the starting research. I usually would prefer a more permanent bonus, but a new early boost does get you some um benefits. Okay, so arrival. From the Journal of Custodian. Actil. Ash buries all in time, but we st still uh, but still we mark the pages and pass down the stories before the all-consuming fire comes. Orga frightens, vast sparkling blue oceans, crisp green plains, snowy wildernesses, a sickening panorama, not unlike the hellscape the machines made of our world. Twelve and five fire births we have witnessed. Cowering and huddling in the shadow of the endless great vessel, they carried us to this world. Why they saved us, I know not. 
Time untold, we slumbered in their cold crypts, held in dreamless sleep by strange machines beyond our understanding. Too long, I fear. If Overseer, if Overseer Alois knows more of this world, it doesn't say. For all it's done for the Kapaku, the thing unsettles me. Ancient living brain entombed in a walking coffin, a once magnificent and macabre. I often spy it in kindled conference with Custodian Tua, but she never shares of what they speak. More qualms. Her name would be last on my lips as one to succumb to fanaticism. Her mind, a grindstone, pragmatic and tenacious, but I confess, the burning reverence for the endless that is sparked, sparked among my tin, kin disturbs me. Yes, they saved us, but as we Kapaku say, only the flame gives its warmth freely. For now, I must put these doubts aside. The time has come to strike out from our savior's cradle. We will tame Origa. One day basalt plains will stretch as far as the eye can see. Great volcanoes will loom from the cracked earth, and the sickening blue of its seas will have turned to the chromed yellow and green I still remember. It's our right. The Endless have promised us and given us the tools to make it so. The Magma Council are agreed. So, the volcano formation machines are powered by strategic resources. Make sure you have five units of any single strategic resource uh, stockpiled while ending the turn. Okay, so just five. Well, that'll be easy. Alright. Let's explore. We want to work on uh, getting a new one. Okay, population's grown. Let's take a look at Ashusk. Working on industry, Founders Memorial will be done in one turn regardless of what I do. Whereas, what is... How much of a difference does this make? Barely any. We're not generating a whole lot of food. How long would this take? Four turns. I'll put it before the glass deal. Hell, I'll put it before the geomic labs. Those raw resources right now are helpful. Let's see, is this in the stone, iron, or high middle ages? Kind of a mix. It, it varies heavily. Because um, this doesn't do the Age of Empires or a civilization thing. You are going up to the tech levels, but it's kind of like you just get better versions of what you already have than unlocking anything terribly uh, more mechanical-ish. It's, it's very heavy on the sci-fantasy element. Okay. Wonder you should do face cam. Not for this. Not for most things. I I can understand why people like face cam, but I have very little interest in it in it personally. Uh I don't think it would appeal especially for like a str uh, strategy game where I'm constantly just like staring at a screen trying to calculate what to do next. I don't think that would be terribly interesting to watch. Okay, so we want to get the mill foundry down. Gonna take, what, two turns? Probably get it after the Burrow Street. Because the Burrow Street's gonna net me a bunch of extra resources quick. Or extra industry quick. Okay, search this. Some dust, some science, that's good. Anything else? Actually, I've got one more over there. Some wine. Doesn't look like we've got any luxury resources in the system. Bunch of anomalies, though. I like the anomaly system in this game. Honestly, I really hope they've come up with an endless space, t an, uh, an endless legend too at some point. I find the mechanics for this game much more compelling than most of the other, uh, most of the other endless games. Like, okay, endless, endless space is pretty fun, but just the uh, the hex-based like territory system in this game is really well handled. Okay, and we find nothing. But he does level up. Oh! Yeah, let's let's see what this guy can do. So attack on units. Uh, let's see. Reduces the odds to loot nothing. Okay. So what is this guy's benefit? Army boost? Spying. So this guy, this guy is better for explorations. So we'll keep him as such. I'd like a city administrator, but this is this is not the guy for it.
he could... This faction seems to have decent, uh, decent, like, management skills. Uh, but we'll leave that for later. Okay. Wow. Four luxury resource boosters to gain the reward already. That's nuts. And we've already found our neighbors. Well, let's go in here and see who we're up against. They're probably going to be mad at me for just existing. Alright, that's husbandry center. Kind of helpful, but let's work on the seed storage first. I could buy it. 126? What would we buy? Well, what do we need for... Not the Altar of Origa. But there's a titanium extractor I can get to. Museum. I guess, honestly... Let's get that. That's arguably going to be more useful. Because I want to get that library. If I remember it, the library is like one of the uh, best things that you can get kind of early on. Okay, Empire Plan will be done in a couple turns. I don't really have much. Oh, hey, Vaulters! Good. I was worried there was going to be the cultists. They're kind of dicks. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so my kind of grand plan here is to just make uh, make the universe, universe, the world around me, just suck for my neighbors. Uh, so they just kind of leave me alone. Uh, it's not always going to be the easiest, though. I It is a bit of a shame. I, I'm always kind of a utopianist when it comes to these games. You know, I don't like to... Let's, uh, let's... Oh, no, we'll be we'll be done with that. Let's turn. I'm working on another Burroughs Street. Let's get another... Let's get a uh, settler done. Getting another city quick seems like a good idea. Oh, I should have gone for their runes. Whatever, we'll get it later. Uh, but I don't like the factions that are their like main story is just like kill everyone, screw this planet. Uh, but then again, I guess my my main faction for Endless Legend is specifically actually Endless Space and Endless Legend are the two like really. Uh, hmm. Do I want to try this? What are my chances? Silix. We got him. Yeah, we... Oh, did my... Yeah, my hero got nuked. Yeah, whatever. He probably got EXP from that. Oh, use your resources to create a volcano former. No, we'll leave that for a little bit. But yeah, I tend to play the Broken Lords and the... Oh, what's the... What's the faction I'm thinking of? Uh... The... It's not non-Euclidean. The, uh... The faction that wants to kind of wipe everybody off the map, map in, uh, let's do science on cities. Unit cost reduc reduction? Sure. Yeah, he's pretty wounded. Good glass deal in science. Um. Oh. But yeah, I like to play the uh, the factions that mainly focus on uh, eliminating everybody from from the universe. Okay, so our long journey beneath the stars is over. Now it's time to begin terraforming Origa into a fiery paradise. First, though, we'll need materials to power the terraformation machines. Okay. So, we must begin to make this world more hospitable for the Kapaku. Volcano form 10 tiles. That'll get us some spices. Okay. And we get this. Auto. Minotaurs. Well, that worked out. Okay. We don't want to do that yet, though. Yeah, I want to work on the... Uh, I 
want to work on the... Oh, shoot. Uh, the museum. The sooner we get that, the better. Because that keeps my city, like, perma-happy. Oh. Actually... If I disband this guy... Or, oh, no, transfer him to the capital. Because, yeah, we've got a neutral army right there. They might just nuke my dude. I don't really want to do that. Oops, this is not what I want to do either. Okay. So what can we do? EXP per turn on units. That might not be a bad move. Extra, re extra recovery speed. Or more runes bonuses. Otherwise, we can get attack. I guess let's see what the management bonus. So approval for city center and expansions on volcanic terrain. That's fair. Extra science. A lot of extra science. Extra strategic resources. Attack on units during dust eclipse. Okay, so these guys aren't the best managers, but they're not terrible. Let's get the second exploration one. Some of those can actually be really helpful. Okay. Let's uh let's stay kind of close to home for a second. Ah, we've got a, another neighbor. And spices. Or wine. Hmm. I was hoping we'd have a little bit more space. I've been spoiled in the past when when the game just kind of puts me all off on my lonesome. Which works really well. But, I mean, obviously, no, no one's around to bother me. <laughs> I can just do whatever I want and just be like, yes, this is this is comfortable, this is safe. There's nothing scary here to make me worried about everything. Alright, so we get some dust and science. Good for that group. Now, is there anything I can do to speed this along? Nope. Well, earliest possible convenience. New army. Uh, I want it to be right there, probably. Ideally, well, I could plonk them right down on the die deposit, but then they'd have to expand out a lot. Okay, so I have a volcano former. Where is it and what does it do? I don't know. Or does the volcano former just kind of expand? Or is that it there? I don't entirely know how the volcano former mechanic works. Okay, so we want to retreat. And we want to plunk down... Where? Oh, that's the cultists. That's blue? Oh wait, no, Eclipse Temple. New possibilities in the ancient temple. Place a volcano former to transform an area into terrain. Okay, well, for starters, I want to get this down. Okay, so let's grab my heroes. Oh. Okay, where are they? I have... Oh, there they are. Okay, so eclipses make it so you can re-explore these? That's kind of neat. Oh, looks like we want to head for... Head for, uh... Move my next settler over here. Oops. I can explore this one a second time around. Come back in search of the rune with the Delver's unit. Army made up of a minimum of... 
eight titanium and eight glass steel, and that'll get me valiant lightning, which I don't actually know if this is that helpful. But okay, we'll have to come back to that in a bit. Uh, I'm a little overwhelmed. It's been a while since I last played this game. And so, let's see. Well, we can't do seed storage, so we'll do mill foundry. Or maybe I can. We just don't get food resources from the environment. But that doesn't stop them from at least gaining a little bit on their own. Now let's grab this. Alright. So eclipses look like they refresh, uh... Runes, maybe? And confluxes seem to be a completely different thing that offer you, like, a buff. Well, that's kind of neat. Okay. So can you get back to this? Yeah, some extra movement speed on this this group would be a good idea. And we get some bonus dust. We're getting a lot of this. Okay, can I put a volcano former down here? Yeah, so I'm going to have to get a, a group dedicated to putting down Volcano Formers. I was hoping it would kind of spread. Maybe that's a, uh, maybe that's like a resource thing or something that I can do. So is this a make, uh, so is this a make sure you do the tutorial type of game or stick it out and figure out what works? Uh, in general, it's best to, it's best to do, do the tutorial. This game isn't impossible. In fact, it's actually fairly easy as far as I'm concerned. Um... Once you kind of get the general idea of what you should be doing. Um, but it is one of those where uh, doing the tutorial helps a lot. Because the resources at first are very dense looking. And if you're not entirely sure what you're doing, it's like, oh, this is the problem. Now, do we have any movement speed bonuses? Maybe down here. No, that's morale. Oh, there it is. Agile mover. Okay, so we want to go down that tree here. Okay, we're going to put a volcano former here. And we're going to put a volcano former... Unfortunately, that will take some time. Okay, well, let's turn off the uh, resource tiles, at least for a little bit. I wonder if I can actually put Volcano Formers down in, ho uh, in enemy territory. That'd be an interesting way of destroying them. Okay, so we get some influence, Delusion of Grandeur, that's fine. That's down. Do we get one more? No. Let's go after this enemy group. Oh, good. We have reinforcements for this one. I know people will often ask me to actually watch these battles, but I'm not terribly interested in watching uh, long fights. I, I did it the first couple of series I ever did of this game, and it just takes so long. Okay. So let's get the uh, sewer system down. Obviously. Geomancer. Inner fire range. So it looks like they're kind of a buffer type unit. Well, I don't really do uh, combat initially anyway. Parlay and bribe. Or let's do search party. We are... Apparently we're going to be visiting quite a lot of uh, runes during eclipses. Can you remove your Razer keyboard? The RGB lights are reflecting off the screen. You know, they actually are. Like the, um... I don't know if it's... Random. Okay. Uh, I have to look at this for a second. Um, I don't know if it's random exactly, but the, uh... 
the rainbow lights and the rainbow uh, uh, aurora borealises did kind of match, at least for a little while. Anyway, so as mysteriously as it arrived, the dust eclipse and its strange effects that swept over Origa have departed, returning the land to normalcy. So winter effects. Altar of Origa expansion has to be built. New Empire. Okay, so we need to figure out how to build one of these. Can I... Is that a thing that I can build already, or do we have to learn how to bake it? Let's get another settler as well. Can we buy the dust dredger? Nah, it's not going to make a massive difference. Okay, so we took out that enemy group. There's a village over here. We pretty much want to just beat down all of the available enemies. My poor hero. He'll be alive at some point. Okay, you can build an altar after you get some pearls. There we go. Yeah, it's been so long that I kind of forget. At some point, I'll, I'll have... We'll, we'll get to a certain point in this uh, this run where I, I remember everything. But, like, I don't actually remember the last time I played this. It was... Was it with the fish people run? I think I, like, tried doing with the last DLC. Maybe I did. Okay, somebody's already made it there. Well, not important to me yet. We want to... We need to save our titanium. Okay, and then after this, we should probably cool it for a bit and just go kind of exploring. We've wiped out most of the uh, neutral faction uh, houses, which actually we should probably rebuild them so we don't have to worry about... Well, so we can get the extra... Oh, hi. It's winter time. Oh, God. My characters probably are not built for winter at all, are they? <laughs> 